morning everybody. It is day 59 and we're off to Allegiant Stadium for an interview. Excited. I'm not as excited as this yeah. chap. I could film you from there coming up the stairs and you can hear me track. Look at that. that would be something we're different. directing while we're filming. This Look, is great. This is inception. The idea is behind <laughs> the ideas. Well, it's already it's already done, unfortunately. Behind the ideas. The day has begun. But yeah, it started look, at approximately 5.55 this morning. Look, I'm open to other ideas that you have. It's oh. great. Pause that shot. Pause that shot. <laughs> the shot idea has now been canned because George is the runner. We've come the wrong, we've come the wrong way. Following the blind, following the blind. Blind leading the blind. <laughs> but that's how much trust we put in George. We're on our way to the interview and Amy's got some legitimate concerns that they're going to ask her who the captain of the, the sports ball team is. Sports ball? Sports ball. Sports ball. <laughs> and Lockie and Liam are talking about wrestling on the field. <laughs> no, but they might say, oh, how does this... You draw the shepherd logo on it. They're not going to say that. They're going to be like, what do you... what? Uh, what's it like being a band with siblings? <laughs> and what... what can you what can we expect at the Fremont experience? Why should fans come down? Well answer that for George's camera, because he's once again in Fans our should grill. come down because we put on a bloody great show. The Aussies are taking over. And you will see some interesting characters. Mm. Yes you will. Oh my god. Whoopsie daisy. Just a regular morning in Vegas. This whole field rolls out of the stadium so it can get sunlight. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. Yes. Yeah. It's always you, you get picked for everything. I know, like I'm just like the guy that looks like he can get dotted. Oh, I see what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. Autograph it. Yeah. Sell it on eBay. There you guys, that's okay. going for at least a dollar. That's the only card in the world that looks like. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. I don't actually, it's you know my favorite though. I got Lucky it. has got your name on it, right? I'm going to use my phone to figure out what card you picked. Okay, you remember it, yeah? It's got your name on it? Yep. Can you just touch the screen? Did you what? see that? One card folded up. That's actually your card. <laughs> nice. That is awesome. That was great. <laughs> Saturday the games here at Allegiant. So we have Van Shepherd with us this morning. So they are going to be performing at the Fan Fest, right? That's the company for it. The Fan Fest that will take place on Fremont Street. You guys, tell us all about Shepherd. So cool. We have you all the way here from Australia. Yeah, that's right. Well, as you can tell, we're very, we're very colorful. <laughs> we like to make music that uh, you know uplifts people. It's very anthemic, very euphoric. 
very sing along with my ball, if that's a word. I like that. Yeah. That's a, but, word, uh, a word. Yeah, come on down. Fremont Street, 5 30. It's a free show. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're there to amp up the crowd. It's going to be great. All right, interview done and dusted. Hopefully, there's a couple more people at the show. Where are we up to now, Emma? The Sundry Food Hall. Sundry Food Hall. Sundry. The Sundry Soup Kitchen. Yeah, all we all can't agree on what we need for the same thing. So we have to go to the food hall. Okay, <laughs> off to the food hall then. Hey? Oopsie daisy. That must have just happened, too. I hope they're all right. That's a freshie. The George, open daily. This is a fancy food court. I like this. Uh oh. This place is sick. I love the design. It's so new. You can smell the modern like freshness to it. Yeah, it's like it feels like it's been open a week. Oh, there they are. Room for one more? Nah, maybe too small. <laughs> yeah, not bad. It was alright. It was really fresh bread, but the uh, sandwich was super cold. 6.5? Definitely not worth the 50 Australian dollars that it cost. I'll tell you, this exchange rate can't stay like this for much longer. Or we gotta start earning USD. Either or. Now we're looking for a good backdrop. I want to film some content for Edge of the Earth, so we're going to look for some mountains and a great backdrop to do a little bit of lip syncing. I think we have found it. So you get back on the 25th? Yeah. Right, this is the spot that we found. Look at that. Real shows over here. Habitat on Mars, almost. Loki, get off the rock! It's time to go. Mate, I'm back here getting the oh. rocks off. <laughs> mm, we're back. Just drop me off right here. Cool hands. Whoa. Show me this. Almost looks camouflaged. Runaway two, sound check. There is no way. Can't be serious. Hey, there we are. Can you get a photo? What's up, John? Okay. Here we are. Can't miss this. <laughs> you surprised. You smell me golf with one of these. <laughs> it's like the camera is the intimidation tactic. I love it. This is fun. We've got 15 minutes until doors open and we haven't uh, had a chance to sound check yet. We haven't even rehearsed together with this format. <laughs> All right, we are on stage and not a whole lot of room. Lucky we don't need a lot of room. We have two or three mics. And we have three minutes before doors. Looks good like uh, doors have opened and we are still setting up. We've done it before, we'll do it again. Great job guys, soundcheck was awesome. <laughs> Amy rocked that soundcheck. Yeah, at least we know the acoustic guitar makes a sound. Yeah. But these are guys from This will be fun. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're back in the room, we're well fed, and now we're just sort of sitting, waiting to go back to that club for, uh, for the performance. Uh, we didn't get a sound check in case that was not apparent. We just uh, kind of stood up there, the doors opened, and we got told that, that sorry, there's no time. Because um, one of the other band's drummers was late. 
So that meant that we didn't get a sound check. Um, we're professional, we'll, we'll get through it. But you know, when you got three vocalists, you got harmonies, we haven't done that setup before with these guys, you know, edge of the earth, we're just gonna wing it acoustically. So uh, it should be an interesting, uh, fun time. But that's what makes this job so exciting, right? You just flying by the seat of your pants and uh, I guess just wish us luck. We'll see how we go. What channel the TV is on? It's like gonna be <laughs> George's filming me. I'm just getting free content. For his blog. Guys, <laughs> we're going. I haven't done a text in hours. And so everybody make a lot of noise, so please. I know you can bring your conversation up here at least. You gotta see this man. Everybody! And we're back. Not nervous at all. This is my not nervous dance. I wish you guys could smell how much smoke is in this place. They're all just smoking inside. It is insane to me. tried to struggle your way through it, but I just had to get out of there. I'm like, that's not the standard I really want people to see us at. And I don't think it really helps. It does more damage than it does help us out. So I just need to get out of here. <sighs> totally useless performance that kind of ruin my voice because we're just standing in a smoky room all night and then when you can't hear yourself you sing louder and I've jeopardized the show tomorrow because of it <sighs> the worst and I just want to say it's nothing nothing on Ava and Big Daddy because they really wanted to support us you know they wanted to give us an opportunity <clears throat> and I love those guys like they're they're family but I don't it's not, that's not a showcase, you know, when you can't even get a sound check, you can't even hear yourself on stage. There's no point. Like, it's just, there's hardly anyone there. Anyway, I've got to try and reset my energy before the show tomorrow. God. So I'm back home now, I, <clears throat> I don't know, I just had to clear my mind, so I sat down at a blackjack table, 
and in a nice twist of fate, I won some money. So there's a little positive spin on the rest of the evening. But now I gotta try and shake that off and get back in the head space for tomorrow because that's a really big, important show. But um, yeah, it's not always unicorns and rainbows here in, in Shepherd HQ. But thanks for sticking with us and hopefully tomorrow is a much better day. I appreciate you guys and as always, 